I asked you guys to send me your portfolios and that's exactly what you did. And I'm going to dive into your subscriber portfolios to see what interesting graphic design goodness can be found deep inside. See if you agree with my critique and you might just possibly, maybe take away some helpful tips from today's video about your very own portfolio. So here's the first portfolio and this is a good start to the video in my opinion. One thing that will definitely make your portfolio stand out is to have small animated elements strewn throughout the entire website. An example here is this logo glitching around every now and then. This person has designed the homepage in a very simple way and a very simple layout, which is a great move. The easier it is for someone to navigate your portfolio, the better. And later we're going to see some examples that didn't really get that part right. Anyway, this designer has also added a section where you can get a specific quotation for their services, and that's a really cool, useful feature. It's something that I haven't got on my website, and I might implement that later. But when we go into one of these projects, what are we actually looking for here? What are we going to critique? Well, we want the designer to tell us a story, to explain their work, and to display the designs in real life use. I like how they started off with the design here, and as we scroll down, everything just flows neatly. I also like how they've added English here alongside their native Spanish, but I would personally align the text to the left instead of centrally speaking, and that's just a personal preference of mine. Notice how the background stays the same, but they've added in design elements as we scroll down. And I love the simplicity and the neatness of this presentation. The project was explained at the start, and it's been presented really, really well. The only thing that I might add is to explain some of the choices a little bit, such as the kind of scheme, the typography, and so on. Also at the very end, I don't like how the image of the product in real use has just been placed almost randomly. I would like to see it integrated into the presentation and also in a high quality resolution. This one's looking pretty grainy. But you're looking at his about page, everything is simple and clean again, which is great. The portfolio has its stamp of uniqueness on it, and overall it's just a great example of how to do things. Next up we have a logo portfolio by Kieran. Now what do I think this designer has done well? Obviously I do dig and like the simplicity of this website. It's very clean and it's laid out in an easy to navigate manner. He uses the colour scheme of white, charcoal black and red which does work really well. The designs themselves are not bad, they're pretty good, but I'd love to see some context about each project. If I'm a potential client looking for a logo designer, I would like to see the process, some information on past clients to see if they align with my business, and just things like that. The vector work is good, but I really want to see some presentation of how the design was thought up and also created. His about page is again very simple and it's laid out nicely. But personally, I would choose, say, five to six of the strongest designs and then build a presentation around each of those designs. This logo portfolio could just be a page on his portfolio in like a quick glance at other projects. But I think it would be best to build up case studies around some of his best works. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. This next portfolio is by Dagmar Margaret. And right away, I'm noticing this font choice is really tech inspired and it feels kind of like a programmer style font. I like the way her portfolio picture is seen here taped up. It kind of gives a unique vibe that's carried throughout the entire portfolio. And as you can see here, that font is used again alongside some hierarchy, which is always good to see extra points for that. And this is a really novel idea seen here. We have a showreel of the best work. And I cannot wait to take a closer look at this project, the orange and black gaming project. It does look really dope. But yeah, a short video showcasing her best work on the homepage, it's a great idea in my honest opinion. So below we can see certain projects displayed, and again the same font is used for consistency, but let's take a look at that project that caught my eye in the video above. As you can see, She's kept that black background layout the same, along with the font style and presentation. I do love this work here and the animated presentation involved with it. It's truly awesome stuff. And here we can see the fonts, the kind of scheme, the media assets all displayed wonderfully. A lot of thought has gone into this and it's paid off really well. The only small issue I have is that instead of having four to five scattered designs on a thumbnail, I would have just one design for the thumbnail as a whole. You know, the project thumbnails here. Having a contact page is essential for converting viewers into buyers, 
and make sure it's simple and easy to use just like this one here. And of course at the bottom we have a social networks and a cool animated graphic. But yeah, I really like this portfolio, it's great stuff. Next up is a portfolio by Axel. Now what do you notice immediately with this one here? Green, black and white. Try and think about a colour scheme when you design your portfolio or at least just a style. This portfolio is what I would call a scroller where we continue to scroll down and down and down from the homepage, which is something I'm not a fan of and I'll explain that later. That being said, everything is laid out pretty neatly here. We have an introduction to the designer, the skills and services on offer, and yes, there is a quick navigation bar on the right found here. Again, I would personally align all text to the left as my personal preference. So we continue to scroll down and we're met with the projects right here. Axel is obviously involved in a lot of different areas of graphic design, which is pretty cool. And if we head back to the top, we can see there is a project drop down menu. And let's check out the foodie project because I'm a major foodie myself. Axel has done a splendid job when coming into the project. He shows the tools used, the color palette, the font choice, along with a synopsis into the project itself. And as you can see, it's all laid out really neatly and in a stylish manner. The execution is just awesome. He even talks about the target market in his portfolio and has data on the kind of person who interacts with the brand. The level of detail here is just really, really amazing. But coming back to the main issue that I have with his portfolio, and that is the navigation. I personally don't like how the homepage is laid out in a way that you just scroll down and down and down, where projects are just kind of simply and randomly placed in an odd fashion at the bottom. I think things should be simplified and made more neat in this respect, only so the viewer navigates the work easily. It just looks more professional when things are laid out simply and neatly. I think in this instance, it's just a case of refining things and laying them out in specific orders with their respective pages. The actual projects on this website are top notch though, and there has been a lot of thought and care put into this portfolio website. If you haven't seen your portfolio in today's video, it doesn't mean that your work is good or bad, it just means I decided to speak on these ones. And I will do this again in the future, so don't worry, you can post your portfolios in the next video. If you want to see more graphic design content by myself, do click the video on screen. And until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace. Yeah.